Here's Brody Brazil. You know, in some ways, I guess this is here we go again. But in other ways, this is very different. I am doing a video on potential MLB relocation, but it's not the Oakland A's. It's now the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, this article came out yesterday, caught everybody's attention around the baseball world. From the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, the headline reads, Will Milwaukee Brewers look to relocate if state stadium financing package fails? Written by Molly Beck. And wait a second. Isn't this the original Miller Park, which opened in 2001? Shouldn't the Brewers and Milwaukee not be dealing with funding and financing issues 20 years after they just built something brand new? It is kind of amazing. And it has a ripple effect through baseball, obviously directly relating to the Oakland A's. And I mean directly relating to that situation, which we will get into in just a second. But first, let's read from the article about what's going on in Milwaukee. The Brewers could start looking for a new home this fall if state and local officials fail to reach an agreement by then on a taxpayer-funded package to fund improvements to American Family Field required in the team's lease with the state, sources say a process that might lead them to the boom towns of Charlotte, North Carolina, or Nashville, Tennessee. I thought we were expanding to Nashville, not relocating. That's a whole different interesting part of this situation here. Months after Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers proposed spending $290 million in taxpayer dollars to help ensure the Brewers stay in Wisconsin, and after the Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred urged lawmakers to act quickly, a deal has not yet materialized. So there's some early tension. There's some early friction in here because the $290 million is not even the total amount. I think later we'll find out that they're seeking about $450 million dollars to do improvements or repairs or enhancements. I'm not exactly sure what that is, what it entails. We'll get there in a second, too. That has pushed Brewers officials to a point of contemplating whether communities with fast-growing population and no Major League Baseball teams might be options if state and local officials don't produce enough funding for stadium renovations, sources with knowledge of the dynamic, told the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Sources with knowledge of the dynamic. Man, that is, that's really a way to angle the words right there. I wonder where that quote came from. And it's interesting here. It's almost like a team holding their city hostage, holding their region hostage, holding their state hostage. If state and local officials don't produce enough funding for stadium renovations, and again, I, I go back to the renovations part, Do we want renovations or do we absolutely need these renovations to the tune of 440 something million dollars? Those renovations are required to maintain the terms of the team's lease with the Southeast Wisconsin Professional Baseball Park District. It's the ballpark district and that is the agreement that's in place, a certain standard of facility and venue and upkeep. and, And that's how the team is going to angle this against the local government, right, against taxpayers, that this is part of what we signed up for. The Brewers' lease with the state-created stadium district does not expire until the end of 2030. So you're starting to see how the wheels are turning here, and this is maybe the first crack, so to speak, in the pavement. And they spread, and they spiderweb out, and they get bigger, they grow over time. This is... This is a small crack right now, which, if not paid attention to and remedied, um, we've seen how this goes in Oakland, specifically. We continue on here. Team executives are giving thought to leaving because without a funding deal, the stadium district may not have enough money to cover immediate recommended improvements to American Family Field. And because it could take years to facilitate a move if the Brewers reach that point. Such talk also could pressure state legislators to act. Well, that last sentence is the point of this entire article. We know where the quotes are coming from. We know who the source of this is. Read this next quote here. The Brewers genuinely want to stay. 
It is only a question of whether they'll be able to with the stadium district broke. A source familiar with negotiations told the journal Sentinel. So that source is speaking on behalf of the Brewers, probably somebody in the organization who wants this out there, who wants to put pressure on the situation. Now, we shouldn't be surprised by this. In business, things like this happen. You try and create a little bit of leverage with a quote, with an opinion, and it's sourced anonymously. Quite honestly, this should come from somebody with a name and a title. If, it, if it's really true. I mean, and I'm sure that the sentiments are true. But if you actually want to be appropriate with it, put a name behind this. And when I also read this quote, let me just say that I've, I've heard similar about rooted in Oakland. Yet then I heard four months ago, the sole endeavor is Las Vegas, Nevada and not Oakland anymore. Evers proposed spending $290 million on American Family Field as part of his $104 billion budget proposal. Is that right? That leaned on a $7 billion surplus. Budget surplus. The plan, introduced in February, was ultimately scrapped by Republican lawmakers. Evers' proposed payment would have been combined with the $70 million already set aside by the stadium district, along with interest earnings, to pay for, here, here comes the number, $448 million in renovations over 20 years. I'm assuming that's the next 20 years. So the first 20 years created this situation where the stadium needs $450 million for the next 20 years. To go from a brand new stadium to a 20-year-old stadium to a 40-year-old venue. Look, I understand. Things age. They need improvements and replacements. I, I live in a house that's very much that exact circumstance. I get it. But this is a modern facility, which already needs all this funding and upkeep, and it, it, it does seem like a lot. If you, if you told me this was a $48 million deal over 20, over 20 years, okay. All right, but $448 million? We'll get to that number in just a second. Oh, but first, let me step away from the Milwaukee situation to also remind you that Mark Adanasio is the Brewers' owner. The Brewers are one of three teams on the Oakland A's MLB Relocation Application Committee. It's the owners of the Brewers, the ownership of the Royals, and the ownership of the Phillies. Those three ownership groups head the committee, the relocation committee assigned by the commissioner to really do a deep dive into the A's situation. So I don't know anything about Mr. Adanasio. I really don't. But I know this, like his team is in a similar spot. Now the Royals, I should, in fairness, the Royals are also trying to get out of Kauffman Stadium. They're trying to go to a downtown ballpark. They're trying to secure public funding, too. Really, the only three, the only one out of the three that doesn't have, like, a rooting interest in this are the Phillies, I think. They've already got a stadium. It's also relatively new. They're not trying to relocate. There's no talk of that. Kansas City and now Milwaukee are trying to get stuff. With public funding, just as is the model in Las Vegas. So I, I should point that out. It's an interesting, interesting coincidence and also interesting aspect here. So let, let's get to the ultimate takeaways here. Miller Park, a.k.a. currently now American Family Field. They started construction, I think, in 96, 97. It opened in 2001. Did it take that long, really? Anyway, late 90s, construction started, April of 2001, it opened. And I know they did have some tragedy involved with delays, but it costs $400 million to build. And here we are later, 20 years, and it costs $447 million to upkeep. Forgot the M again. I, I always do that with my millions. We talk about relocation. $400 million to build, $447 more million dollars pumped in just 20 years later. Now, look, I get it. The next 20 years are critical. 
right? Because look at the Coliseum. And I, I will take the defense that these venues do need enhancements, upkeep, upgrading. The Coliseum really got behind in the 80s and 90s. It opened in the late 60s. That's fine. 70s, that's fine. But nothing really happened to that venue in the 80s and 90s and really into the 2000s. And all of a sudden, it went from something that was okay and multi-purpose to begin with. Then, 95, the upgrade, so to speak, made it even more of a multi-purpose venue, made it more of a football stadium. You know how Angel Stadium went from housing the Rams and the Angels, and then the Rams left, and then they made it more baseball? The Coliseum was the opposite. They made it more football. And then the Raiders left, too. So I, I understand you don't want to get this ballpark and this this venue behind the curve. So you are going to – I appreciate the opportunity to make it better and to, to try and stay there. But $447 million seems like a lot. And again, my next point here, are we talking about want items or need items? Because if the roof is falling down, like we need to fix that. I don't want to put anybody's safety in jeopardy. I don't want to make this something that compounds and, and gets worse. But are these also like – well, we'd like to put a TV screen in the back of every seat for the person sitting behind them, you know? Or we'd like to put massage chairs in for all the front row seats. Or we'd like to do... Yeah, sure. I'd like to do a lot of projects myself. But I don't because, you know, things get costly. Are we talking about want or need? Again, I, I appreciate the overall sentiment. I understand that part of it. But to think that it has to come from public taxpayers or else this is a bad tactic this is a bad trend in major league baseball you've got teams like the angels which may or may not be trying to move the royals probably trying to move obviously the a's we know that situation well documented and now you get the milwaukee brewers thrown into this mix and and to to ask for public money okay I'm not here to stop that. I, I might say, like, in some cases, read the room. Um, to ask is fine. And if places are willing to do it, uh, that's up to them. But in the same regard, to say that do it or we're leaving now. I don't know that that resonates well because those taxpayers who would be paying for this are also, you know, the fans. And who is the source of this story in the quotes? I, I, I get it. Like, the Brewers want to leak this out, clearly. Why not, why not take, take a podium? Why not put out, put out a prepared statement? Why not gravitate yourself to the community and say, here's what we're trying to do. Here's why we're trying to do it. Here's why we need it. Here's why we're even asking. And here's what we'll do, too. Maybe that's a better way to approach it. And let me close out this video by saying, all right, so the Milwaukee Brewers are not really my team. And it's, I mean, I love beer, so, and I love breweries, so, so that, I love the theme. And I also understand, man, Milwaukee has already been through it over the decades of bringing teams in, taking them away, bringing them back, taking them away. Like, that has sucked for Milwaukee over the decades. So I already have a, I already have a soft spot in my heart for them. But me as a person with no direct interest in Milwaukee or the Brewers specifically, guess what my interest now is? I want them to stay. And I've always wanted them to stay. There's no reason that they should go anywhere. I know they can be supported. I know there's a fan base there. There's not a reason to remove this team from this location because of this reason. There's not. And so me, with the outside opinion, knowing what I know and seeing what I see, yeah, of course, I want you to have your stadium fixed up. I want you to keep it, keep it modern, right? You're, you're already lucky enough to have a venue that's less than 25 years old, so you're fortunate. Not every team is even in that contest or consideration. But I get it. You want to, you want to keep it that way. But my opinion is I would love for this team to stay, and I would love for this threat and this trend and this tactic in baseball and in professional sports to go away, to threaten the very people who are your lifeblood, 
that you just might go away if you don't get everything you want without even presenting like <laughs> and making it clear how you're going to be part of this. So there you go. A relocation video that didn't involve the A's and I, I kind of hated doing this one too. Thumbs up down below since you made it here to the end. I would greatly appreciate that. And also don't forget, subscribe to the channel so I could definitely see you back here next time.